Hello and welcome to Council Recap, where we take the content of the City Council meetings and give you the breakdown. I'm Kayla Moeller. There was one presentation this week. We heard from Mayor of Redondo Beach, Bill Brand, about the California Initiative for Local Control. He introduced the initiative to amend an article that forces zoning in certain areas. He's proposing allowing voters to decide whether state legislature or local city councils can determine zoning in their cities. In the resolution portion of the meeting, Resolution 8309 was passed to establish a four-way stop at the intersection of 141st Street and Washington Avenue. Next, Resolution 8312 was passed to approve the use of the city seal by Telehealth Van LLC for their work with the city to provide mobile virtual telehealth resources to low-income residents and for the city's misdemeanor diversion program. Then, Council approved Resolution 8313 to authorize the California Statewide Community Development Authority to issue a bond for the purchase of Millennium South Bay. These types of properties are then converted to income and rent restricted units for moderate and middle income households. The resolution was amended to state that the partnership with JPA will also pay for the city consulting costs. Resolution 8314 was approved to proclaim October 2021 as Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the city of Hawthorne. Breast cancer affects one in eight women and thousands of men annually. And raising awareness to encourage people to get checked can be an important way to catch the cancer with early detection. And this week, one ordinance was introduced. Ordinance 2226 had its first reading to amend certain chapters in the Hawthorne Municipal Code regarding organic waste disposal reduction requirements. Some of these amendments include code enforcement, building standards codes, and modification for recyclable materials, organic materials, and solid waste collection and disposal. Next, in the general matters portion, Council gave staff permission to move forward with the Coyote Information Guide. The City has prepared this guide to distribute to residents of Hawthorne to educate the community on protocols regarding encounters with coyotes. Then, Council was given an update on the Pallet Shelter Project, which will be located at the Hawthorne Lenox Park and Ride site. Caltrans and Metro both gave their approval for this project, but asked that it not begin until March 2022. Next, Council approved the employment agreements between the City of Hawthorne and City Manager Vontre Norris and City Attorney Robert Kim. At a previous meeting, Council voted unanimously to appoint them to their respective positions. The City Manager's consent calendar had a few items this week. First, Council approved the City Manager to organize a multi-community event to provide 400 residents with gift cards to purchase food for Thanksgiving. Funding will be appropriated from the Coronavirus Local Fiscal Recovery Fund made possible by the American Rescue Plan Act. Distribution of the gift cards will take place on Friday, November 19th, 2021. Then, Council revisited the discussion about returning to in-person City Council meetings. They will discuss it again at the January 11th meeting for a possible resume of in-person meetings for the 25th of January, 2022. The pandemic is continuing to improve in Los Angeles County, and the state of California will be implementing new guidelines starting Thursday, November 4th, 2021. The city applied for and was awarded a grant from the Metropolitan Transportation Authority for design, plans, specifications, and construction for traffic and roadway improvements in the Moneta Gardens area of Hawthorne. The city manager will execute the funding agreement, allowing staff to continue design and engineering for this critical capital improvement. Next, Council approved progress payment number seven to Cialic Contractors Corporation for the Prairie Avenue Improvement Project Phase 2. This project includes widening the intersection at Prairie and Rosecrans Avenue, incorporating a bike route, replacing deteriorated pavement sections, and improving storm drain systems. Council accepted and filed the other post-employment benefits valuation report for the fiscal year that ended June 30th, 2021. The purpose of the report is to provide the current funded state of the city's post-retirement benefits program and related accounting information. The city's consultant, Doug Pryor of Bartell Associates LLC, gave a presentation overviewing 2019 data that is used for the 2021 report. The report is required every two years and is based on data and information provided by the city. He went over the benefits summary and the city's methods. 
Well, that's it for the meeting this week. Thank you for joining us for Council Recap. Remember, you can always watch City Council meetings in their entirety by going to www.youtube.com and searching for Hawthorne Community Television. Stay safe and healthy, and we'll see you next time.